Welcome to Universe Collections. And today I proudly present Cesray Madocus. Cesray is a new toys company from China. As the first product of the company, they released the first wave, which are three gladiators, which you can see here. There are different weapons in each figure. So if you want to collect all weapons, you have to collect them all. So right now I'm going to do a review on the red one, on the middle one. Okay, so the series is so called Combatant Fight for Glory, Madoka's Reaper. As you can see here, it's in the clear package, so you can see through. And on the side, there are some stories behind the Fight for Glory theme. And on the back of each package, they contain their own stories. So I'm going to skip it. If you want to know, you just buy it and read it by yourself. All right. Let's crack it up and see what is inside. So the package is so-called collector's friendly. You just slide it out like that. And you can... Oh, there is a sign. So in your country, if it is cold, you have to heat it up before played, okay? And I have to tell you this, the figure has some weight on it. A bit lighter comparing to Mythic Legions. And here are some detail on the shield. So come out of the packaging so you can see a clearer on the detail, especially on the face. They did a good job on painting. You can see there is no any stain, color stain on the face. Looks so nice. For me, I think the face look a bit more aggressive than in the prototype picture. And also, every detail, they did a good job on painting and sculpting. You can see the muscle there clearly and also the details on the shin guard a bit of gold and silver that looks really nice okay let's move on to Details on the back. Let's zoom in a bit. And then you can see there is a tattoo on the back, which is a um, number. But I really have no idea what is it about. If you know it, please let me know. And details on the skirt. Do you call it skirt? You can see the fabric detail on that okay let's move to articulations so on the head the neck joint can bend like that and the shoulder shoulder armor it is a rubber and also on the shoulder it is hidden joint so it feels like um, figure art with a head and joint and single joint elbow and also a joint on the wrist it can twist like that and there is a joint under the chest but sadly the joint on the west can't move so it's stuck which means the joint under the chest is the only joint that can move to make a ab crunch and then there is a hidden joint on the thighs and double joint knee and the ankle it can bend like that. Alright, so let's see the accessories in the box. So what we have here you have a shield. Let's adjust a camera a bit 
So it's highly detailed with the silver color and the gold in the middle. And on the other side, there is a plastic made um, as a leather strap. And then the sword is not really hard, but it's not soft. So you need to be careful because you can hurt yourself with that. It's really sharp. Okay. And then the helmet. Oh, sorry. The helmet. It is made of rubber, really soft, but highly detailed with silver and gold. So you can put it like that, really easy. It's not really loose, it's still hold in place. So how to get the shield in? You can just put it directly like that, but it's not really steady. So you can just do like this pop out the hand first and then make it on the strap like this I'm sorry it's off focus and then just put it back oh it's really hard to do it in front of the camera oh, I just I fast forward it okay so it's hold really steady like that. Great. Okay, so the size comparisons with Mythic Legions, Calavius and Lamorous. And with Orcs, so they share the same body, 1.0. And then on the right, 2.0 body, Elf Legion Builder and the Dwarf. And then comparing to the 9 inch and then Macfarren toys, 7 inches toys and with Hellbat Macfarren and Batman Macfarren toys and with Mesco, Batman and Doctor Strange and with Storm Collectibles on the left and Scorpion Macfarren on the right and then comparing with Hasbro Star Wars 6 inches scale and comparing to all three of them Cesarate they share the same body but they have different weapons in each figure so I would like to say I love the figure Cesare had made um, good quality figure is really fun to play and also every part you can take it off and you can share it with you know the other Cesare figures so you can share accessory share weapon and many things if you are Mythic Legions collectors, I would highly recommend you buy this toy because it can play together. And if you are really interested in medieval or some period warrior, I also recommend it because this is um, around 6 inches scale to 7 inches scale. Alright, so I think that's it for the review, so maybe you get the idea and if there is any information that I didn't tell you in this video it may be because of my English is not good English is still mysterious to me so I hope that you get all the ideas and maybe some of you might pull the trigger after watching this and I have talked to no, I have chat to the owner of the Cesare. He's a nice guy and I hope that you enjoy his product. And see you in the next two figures. Happy playing. See you later. Goodbye.